So this is where things get a little tricky. Uh, parametric equations questions are often a part of the section B uh, of the core four paper. And subsequently, this is where the more fiddly questions come in. So what we've got here is a, an ellipse-like shape um, with the equations x is equal to 2 sine theta and y is equal to 2 lots of sine theta plus cos theta where theta is running from 0 to 2 pi. The other information that we've been given is that AB is a tangent to the curve at B, and that line is making a 60 degree angle with the horizontal. And what we need to do is find the length of O to A to three significant figures. Now, the route that I'm going to go down is I need to find the coordinates of B first, okay? That's what we're going to do. So in finding the coordinates of B, I can then work out the coordinates of A. So how do I work out the coordinates of B? Well, I know that at B there is a tangent line that meets the x-axis at 60 degrees. That is my way into this problem. So the fact that it's a tangent line means that I would need to find the gradient of the curve at that point. And in order to find the gradient of the curve at that point, I need to find dy by dx. So I need to find dy by dx. So dx by d theta is what I need to find first, and that would be 2 cos theta dy by d theta is the derivative of y, so 2 sine theta differentiates to 2 cos theta, and 2 cos theta differentiates to minus 2 sine theta. So dy by dx is dy by d theta times d theta by dx, which is 2 cos theta minus 2 sine theta, times d theta by dx, which is 1 over 2 cos theta. So they multiply together to make this. Now that can be simplified. So we have 2 cos theta divided by 2 cos theta, which is 1. And 2 sine theta divided by 2 cos theta is just tan theta. So dy by dx is 1 minus tan theta. Now... I need to then put this equal to the gradient of that tangent line. So how can I work out the gradient of that line? Okay, so let's redraw this triangle, or the triangle is making this 60 degree angle. Here's A, that's A and that's B effectively, okay? So we know that the gradient or between two points is dy by dx, the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. Okay, So the difference in the y divided by the difference in the x. So if I'm thinking of this as a right-angled triangle, this side is the opposite to the angle, and that is the adjacent. Okay? So, that means that the difference in y divided by the difference in x is the opposite divided by the adjacent. But I know that opposite divided by adjacent, uh, using Sokotoa, is tan of theta. So that is tan of 60 degrees. Okay? So tan of 60 degrees must be equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Now, that's all well and good. So I can, inver I can work out what tan 60 is using the calculator. So making sure I'm into degrees, tan of 60 is equal to root 3. Okay, So that means the opposite divided by adjacent was root 3. However, this is clearly not a line with gradient of root 3, because root 3 is positive, that's got a negative gradient, and so the gradient of this line is minus root 3. 
So I can put the dy by dx, the gradient function, equal to minus root 3. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So we've got minus root 3 is equal to 1 minus tan theta. And then you can rearrange that to get tan theta is equal to 1 plus root 3. Okay, so that is what tan theta is equal to. Now that will enable me to now find theta. Okay, so if I inverse tan both sides, I get 69.9 degrees to three significant figures. Okay, so that means that when theta is 69.9, I can get the coordinates of B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this theta into the x and y. Okay? So allowing me to get, get the coordinates of b. So x is equal to 2 lots of sine theta, which is 1.878 uh, to 3 decimal places. So we're going, going to have 1. 1.8. Uh, let's go to 3 sig figs, so 1.88. Um, well, let's go a little bit more accurate than that because uh, I'm probably going to need some more information. So 1.87814163. And then the y coordinate, so inverse tan of 1 plus root 3 to get that number back in my calculator. Substitute it into the y, and we're going to get two lots of sine theta. Ooh. Answer key. So I'm using the answer key here. Plus cos of the answer is equal to 2.5655 2 So this is approximately 1.88 and 2.57. OK, so I've got that bit. Now, I still haven't worked out what OA is. OK, so if I drop a line down, then I can now say that this distance is 1.88, and I know that height is 2.57. So if I know the height of that right angle triangle, 2.57, then I should be able to work out the adjacent. OK, so 2.57. Yep, so I can rearrange this to get the adjacent is equal to 2.57 divided by the tan 60. So divide by tan 60, and that gets me 1.48 to three significant figures. Okay, so that is 1.48. And so I can then add the 1.48 onto the 1.88 to get the length of OA. OK, so add that to 1.87814163. So we get 3.359, so 3.36 to three significant figures. OK, that is the answer. So. What is key here? Um, what is important is understanding what you're finding. So that, <laughs> that might seem uh, uh, difficult to interpret. But what, what I mean by that is that 
I know that that is the angle that I'm looking for, 69.9 degrees, because inherently you should also have a think before you start these questions about what's happening as theta changes. You know that theta is going from 0 to 2 pi, OK? Um, and I know that I worked in uh, degrees here, OK? But that doesn't really matter. Um, but when theta is 0, you get two lots of 0, because sine 0 is 0, and two lots of 0 plus 1, so 0, 2. So you know that the curve starts there at 0, 2, when theta is 0. And then when theta is, um, uh, let's say, pi over 2, then you get two lots of 1. And then you get two lots of 1 down here. So 2, 2. So it's going to be somewhere over here. So the curve is going around that way. OK, so when theta is 0, when it is uh, pi over 2, uh, when it's pi, uh, so it's going around the circle that way. So I know that 69.9 degrees uh, makes sense. Um, and I also know that um, then that I'm looking at that point rather than an angle that is down here, OK, and getting me that point instead. Another key part of this is putting your tan of 60, uh, so finding that angle and using tan of 60 and putting it equal to the gradient function, that is also something that crops up a few different times. So be aware of that process as well, OK? Not all these questions are going to look the same. A lot of them are going to get, uh, make you interpret exactly what's going on. So they are well worth practicing, okay, in order to access those top grades.